Greetings viewers and welcome back. Red Ruby here along with Deckard for another Replay Tuesday here at Sparky Pants Studios. We've got a great match coming up here on Juggernaut. How you feeling about this one, Deckard? I'm feeling really good, Red Ruby. We've got My Diamond D versus Oli. These are two top 10 ranking players. Yeah, these guys are top notch. Oli, I think, is sitting at rank 8 and My Diamond sitting at rank 5. I haven't had a chance against either of these guys in quite some time. They've just been getting better and better. Yeah, they're too good for us, I think. Every time we try and get them in uh, the live build, just... We get our, our asses handed to us. Yeah, it doesn't end well for either one of us. But anyways, we can still talk about their play. We've got Recons facing off here. One a little more defensive with Shielded Actuators, the other going for Offensive Mobility with Thrusters, and then a pair of Knockouts. As well as Vice with Ground Pounder for Oli and System Wipe on Widget for My Diamond D. This match has just started on Juggernaut, and off they go. Now, Boss Slayer is the four-point objective, so I think... Having the heals over having the additional tank for farming is probably going to be better for the composition. What do you think? Yes, uh, you're probably right, and you'll see that they're doing a mirror advance on the two center hives, north and south. That's probably because Hive Buster is their number one point objective. They want to get that hive kill as fast as possible to get to level two and level three. Yeah, I'm always curious to see whether players go for that offensive here in the center of the map to get that extra XP, or maybe just fall back to their own hive. I kind of feel like I'd rather go for my rear hive, knock that out first, and if I can get that to level 3 quickly, then I don't have to worry about contesting the hive buster in the middle. But That's a very good point as well. Either way, I guess we'll see. Like we've been saying, these players have been beating us, so maybe our strategies aren't that sound. Widget going <laughs> for the first upload here in the center while Recon gets chased on home. Vice getting ready to pound Widget with that big old stomper there. Recon coming in as backup, adding pressure on Widget. Widget is Ooh. not going to make it. Recon stutter stepping. Martyr's Boon goes down. Widget knows he's out of there. Um, a Nemo protocol goes off for Vice to take out Widget. Recon keeps coming in on Vice, poking him away. Vice doesn't care. He's too tanky for those too piddly little rockets. That. A level 2 recon, not quite enough to scare off, or well, enough to scare him off, but not enough to finish the job. Both knockouts had to go back and heal. Looks like they're going to just go ahead and farm up on the back end there. Recon joining in and on it, the anti kavash effort as well. And it looks like Oli lost recon of his, on his own. Uh, recon fell in that first battle opposite Widget. Widget sacrificed herself to heal up I'm the sorry, recon. I missed that. But, uh, yeah, rockets going out. I'm always so hesitant to use rockets, but I guess that's the correct maneuver considering that if you know there's not going to be a team fight in the next 30 seconds, go ahead and drop those rockets and get everything off the field there. Definitely that agree. Run. So we've got a pretty slow moment here. Uh, recon in the center uploading for Oli. Nine Diamond D is taking his other vision tower just now while uh, I believe his... Vice? No, his knockout is coming in with a, a core to upload. Yeah, as of right now, it's still pretty pretty even up. Uh, Widget and Recon kind of clashing there. Widget probably looking for some farming, but not quite going to get it. Knockout's facing off in the center, and the lawnmower gets activated, scaring one knockout out of there. Rockets go down. Oh, knockout's oh. just on the edge of that rocket field. The scape just... escaped. And when Recon... Not, oh my gosh, where did those rockets even come from? A mile away, the opposing recon getting that critical kill. My Diamond D's recon pushing knockout out of there while uh, Widget uploads to the center with it's, another core. It seems like it seems like My Diamond's recon has been uh, kind of dominant in the recon faceoffs there. I'm not sure if those shielded actuators managed to help or if he's just microing a bit better in those two engagements that we've seen. Yeah, I'm not too sure myself. Re Knockout is gone, healed, come back, taken out uh, this alpha here with the hive. Landfalls into the center, going after Vice, ground pounding up into the uplink. Oh man, the counter jump coming in from the opposing Knockout. Knockout was probably hoping to find Recon there, not another tank. I think maybe the two tank build might actually be effective at trying to slow down Knockout's damage, because Knockout kind of throws all her DPS out up, up front once those abilities uh, wind down. And yet, both tanks just retreated against Recon. Yeah, I feel like they probably, I mean, at least Knockout probably could have gone to farm a little more and helped out Recon up here, but maybe we'll, maybe it's better to just get healed up and prepare for the coming team fight now that we're getting into the kind of mid-game right here. Uh, let's see, Recon is level 4 now, completely unlocked. 
Uh, we've had kind of a later game recon for my diamond with uh, with the saturating fire and the missile controller. Recon misses with a little bit of that uh, rocket. Yeah, but Knockout's in a lot of trouble. Knockout's gonna escape. Oh, really good. oh Knockout for Oli, you mean? Yeah, sorry. Oh, there we go. Oh, we do have two Knockouts. Oh man, pursuing all the way to the end of the ends of the earth here. Wow, Recon gets out of there with those thrusters. Thrusters is really great. Water's kind of boom going down, healing Knockout. Vice escaping. It looks like Oli's escaping with oh, is a going little to? bit of health. Let's Rockets to save him. Oh, wow. That, I, I, I thought Knockout was going to die, I thought Vice was going to die, then the Rockets came down, I thought one of the red team was going to go down. It's been madness so far, chasing all the way back. They're fighting so much over not very many cores, though. I guess they're just vying for map control. Recon doesn't have the time to go get that core. Mars like Boone saving Recon after that thresh, uh, Shredder Field attack from Ramjet. Is it going to cost her her life? It doesn't quite look like it. This is when you know you have really high level play because these guys don't mess around. They will go down to 10 health just to, to get in their last hits and pull out of the last second. You will see them go down very low before getting back to base. Very high level play. Ramjet's coming in, hitting down Recon, preventing the uplink, thrusters away, only sending back to base with his core. I think those cruster, thrusters are crucial for getting away from that knockout when she can jump in like that. When she doesn't have landfall or ramjet, she's not as much of a threat because you can see her coming. But having those thrusters available really negates a lot of that damage, whereas shielded actuators is only going to negate one tick of all these AoEs coming down. Wow, look at this damage! This is unbelievable. Oh my gosh, the full rocket barrage almost takes out Recon. Vice trying to go after Recon. He does not able to make it. He is... Going after Knockout now, while Widget is pummeling down on him. Oh! Oh, the rockets pursue all the way through that landfall, but don't quite manage to take her out. Unfortunately, Vice was not so lucky and fell to Widget. Oh, he's probably going to get made fun back, uh, back oh. on the dropship. A little that misclick there. Oh, oh. Thrusters comes in, Widget goes down. Oh, but, but Recon's in a lot of trouble! Oh, life. Triple kill! My diamond sitting here with an uncontested board right now. Three cores on the field. Not quite enough time, I don't think, for to go for the total vision with only 10 seconds left on knockout going down here. But Recon's going to be able to ferry these cores around. I, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't go down and get that second core down there on the south. Instead, choosing to go farm. I guess with the level 3 hive up, he wants to try to get the advantage on that hive buster. But he yes, gets his rockets. You, he's pulling the right move there, ignoring that core. Though it is a, one point is one point, so... He's going actually for the more uh, the more difficult route because now he has to go and fight off all these Kavash to get that hive buster. Though I'm just ignoring the hive at the moment. Yeah, I mean, I guess he knew his his opponent's recon is still down, so he knows his opponent can't get in here and contest with just tanks most likely. So he kind of took his time, got his farm, got a little bit of an experience advantage there, level eight to level seven, which is about to probably even out. But uh, True. looks like he's getting that point and pulling ahead now, four points ahead, four points ahead, and uh, three more cores plus the core in the south center hive. He's going to pull a huge lead here if uh, if Oli doesn't do something Oli's to catch in up. No, Oli's in no position to, to contest. Right now he's completely on the back line. He's farming with Vice, who's looking pretty beat up. All he's got is a level 2 recon coming out here. Uh, one advantage, I guess, that we're seeing right now is that we're seeing a level 5... Uh, a level 5 knockout on the field now as opposed to a level 2. So while my diamond's recon has been a lot more effective, uh, that, that ultimate on knockout can sometimes single-handedly take a rig out of a fight. Yeah, you're not wrong. This is going to be an interesting play from, from these guys. Oh man, so there it is! There's the haymaker! Shredderfield going down, Widget trying to get out of there, there's no chance. Singularly destroyed without even any contest. Is that knockout at full HP? I think she is. Yeah, this is a this is definitely a form of lawnmower. Usually people use sludge tanks, but this this Ramjet's version of lawnmower is even deadlier, I think. Because even anybody that can escape with thrusters, if they uh, if they thrust her out and then you ramjet on top of that, it's not looking good for the opposing player. We've got Knockout uploading for Oli. Landfall coming in with a Knockout opposing Shredder Field and Thresher oh uh, uh, <laughs> Thresher Flail. And Thresher Shredder Flail, Field. thank you very much. Thresher Field and Shredder Flail, who knows? They're they're all spinny, hurdy things and they happen around the tanks. Just don't be near Knockout. Yeah. I think that's the lesson we're learning. We Look at talk. all these cores sitting <laughs> way out here. We need to talk to the narrative designers and get some uh, easier, <laughs> easier gear names. Well, take it up with Song Industries, I guess. 
All right, well, while we were saying, I mean, that my diamond losing his widget there kind of completely shut down his momentum. It's now 7 to 8, whereas it could have been something like 4 to 11 at this stage of the game. He had all those cores, but didn't really kind of convert that into any score. Yeah, and Oli is not caring at all about the upload happening right now. He wants to kill that level 3 hive, get the experience, get the other cores. And he already has two cores in the upper left portion of the map that he can fall back on as well. He's looking his he, he's looking to tie this up as fast as possible. He does not care about preventing any more uploads at the moment. Now with only five. Oh, Ram just coming oh. in. Oh wow! Well, and lockdown. a ground pounder across lockdown with a root. Wow! Well, look at all the damage going down here. There's so many AOEs. I don't even know what's happening. Recon goes down for the red team. Knockout not far behind. Widget's not going to be able to contest. It doesn't look like, although that knockout is very low. Perhaps a well-timed heal and ramjets from knockout could... No, nope, it doesn't look like Oli's gonna take the bait. But Oli does have all those, uh, all those course upload right now. Yeah, and you can see he's kind of even trying to zone his opponent out of his own vision tower area because there are so many cores on that side of the map. And, and his like, ground pounders online comes down, roots so widget. Knockout. Oh, oh my Just gosh! Just before Oli's knockout dies, she ramjets out of there. The ramjets has saved her life at least three times so far this game. It's such a powerful mobility ward here. And now once again, knockout and widget have pushed out uh, Oli's knockout. There you see knockout fearing a cord over to widget, so widget can chain uplink them to the upload. To, uh, chain upload them to the uplink. Quick little system wipe there too to get her a little healthier. But is it gonna matter? Not with knockout in her face. Let's see, she's trying to hide between her own knockout. Let's see if she can get away. I don't think Not there's any happen. hope at all. He probably shouldn't even be lo uploading with Widget right now. Yeah, that would be a mistake. I don't understand why he wasn't using knockout to upload and Widget to fairy. Yeah, and he has... The, Widget can heal the injured rig plenty with Martyr's Boon and System Wipe, so I don't see why they're g doing that sort of thing, but... Potentially, oh wow, double rockets going oh, on Oh, and Thruster's coming in from Oli trying to take out Recon from My Diamond D. Not gonna happen, he's back in his base healing. Yeah, pushing really deep there. Recon should have picked up that core and poached it on out of there, but oh, instead... Oh, but Lawnmower from Knockout, where's that Shredder field when we need it? it Recon... Oh, oh, here it comes! Oh, oh, now the Haymaker finishes the opposing Knockout. You know, I'm surprised, honestly, that my Diamond doesn't have his Knockout leveled up. It looks like I expected the, the Widget to stay level 1 and all the levels to go into his two damage-dealing rigs. Could have been a misclick, but yeah, you're right. This does not feel like what he should have done. Yeah, I feel like having having his knockout, like the widget is built for a low level build, it seems like, but I guess he really just wants that widget ultimate. And here comes uh, Recon taking back a, a hive a core that's been saved at home base. I mean, the core should cores, be coming back after he heals. Yeah, the cores are pretty even up on both sides. Both tanks now heading back. I'm surprised neither side went for bosses here. I, yeah. My diamond seemed like the build that was more suited for boss fighting with those heals. You can kind of hit the boss, heal up, and then come back on the field relatively healthy with that damage buff on top of it. Yeah, and on top of that, neither of them went for vision tower uh, uh, dominance when, when I believe my diamond was down two rigs. Yeah, it's kind of surprising. They, they haven't been playing hyper-aggressively here. Uh, most of the plays have just kind of been knockout get kind of muscling either side around. I do like the addition of the ground pounder here as opposed to the uh, pulverizers, which we normally see on Vice, because that that root is actually pretty nasty. Even at level 2, it's a 2 second root, so if you time it right with a rocket barrage, or of course lock someone down with knockout, exactly. uh, that, can, that can be pretty brutal on its own. Yeah, and we like seeing new gear come to play anyway. Sometimes pulverizer gets a little, uh, a little tiresome. It does! <laughs> but I mean, I, get, I think for the sake of, for the sake of late game uh, team fights and that sort of thing, I think the ground counter is totally a better option. Yeah. Lock down that escaping rig, or try to secure a, a rocket barrage hit. Because and, as, and as you can see, all six rigs are equipped with uh, their cores. They're meeting at the center here to upload to finish off the game with a minute 45 left. It's going to come down to a team fight and a mass upload by one side. Knockout coming in with Haymaker on Widget. Widget heals with her ultimate. The ultimate goes down. Both sides have dropped one of their ults now. The only ones they have available, so there aren't going to be any more ultimate moves for the next team fight with only 90 seconds remaining. 11 to 12 right now, about to be 11 to 13, maybe even 14 or 15. Oli has to get out here right now. He's got no time. The points are going against him. There aren't any real objectives for him to lock down at this stage in the game unless he can take up maybe a rig or two and snag himself a quick total vision. Let's oh, and Recon from Diamond, he pulls off too quickly. All we had was a Ramjet oh uh, attacking from Knockout. 
lawnmower coming in, but turns away. Yeah, but she just kind of stood there. I mean, well, I believe Recon and uh, Knockout for OE are, are zoning out Nine Diamond D so that Vice can upload two cores in a row to tie this game up. There goes the lockdown right there. Oh my gosh, rockets go down on Knockout. She didn't have the shredder field up. Oh, Recon and Diamond D is out of the game. Oh my gosh, Knockout escaped that. Leads up three wins to two right now. 30 seconds left. The next upload could determine the game. Knockout's going for the upload under fire. Is my, if my Diamond gets this upload, that's going to be it. What's going on here? Recon laying down. Oh, this is not good. Oh, he gets he off the 14. There's, Vice there's, there's enough time. There's enough time to do this. This could but go into recon, overtime. Oh my gosh! Recon goes down. Both recons off the knockout, field. Knockout chasing knockout. down knockout. It's just a lot of knockout on knockout action. Oh my gosh! It looks like this game is going into overtime. 15 minutes is not enough for these two players to face off. Not at this level. Two rigs down right now, though, for my diamond. This Let's is Let's see wonderful. that final upload tying the game up, taking it to sudden death. I really liked how uh, Oli ferried off his his uh, court to let knock. I'm sorry to let uh, to let Vice upload the the core because that way Knockout could sit at the Vision Tower and zone out with the the DPS that that she has. Oh, she's Ooh, at half health. This is bad. Knockout with the oh Haymaker and Ramjet's out of there. I liked what he did right there, though. He forced my diamond to react to the total vision threat, and that would have... Because otherwise, Widget would have been able to upload right there. Yep. But he knew that there was no chance for that. In the meantime, Vice went all the way to the far side of the map, got the only core that Oli otherwise had available. And, and here comes Vice. Happening. It's not going to happen. I Reaping. think this up there's no stun in there. There's no stun or removal. That's going to be it. Oli takes the game. 15 to 14 what a, at the very end. Yeah, that was amazing. The use of ramjets, the use of thrusters, the uh, the lawnmowers, and then ramjetting out of there as opposed to ramjetting in to the lawnmower combination. Really high level play from these guys. Amazing micro. Some great heals coming in from Widget too. Those really determined quite a few team fights, allowing them to stay in longer. Unfortunately, I think my diamond was a bit too cocky with those heals and stayed in like... It's one thing to heal, but you still have to get out from under the AoE or it's yeah. going to burn you down. Yeah, he was a little, uh, well, I'm <laughs> sure he was under a lot of pressure too. Certainly. So here's here's that triple kill in the center in the center of the map. That's when uh, right before Hivebuster went down. Uh, I'm, I'm kind of surprised we didn't see a more offensive. There was only one rig down. Yeah, you know, with that triple kill, I, I really feel like he should have gone after uh, At least a total pressure vision. Him. But how many seconds apart were the, the 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 kills? There was a knockout was coming back onto the field at ten, that's right, at 10 that's seconds, right. so it would have been tricky. But either way, uh, I'm 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 still just surprised no one went for bosses. That's that's four points, and like especially with I don't know. I feel like when you have a heal composition, get that boss buff because it just gives you so much potential damage output. So yeah. let's see, let's see what the knockouts did. The knockouts had wow six kills. And, and oh wow, no kills for the opposing knockout. Wow. That was the one that was level two, I guess. But even so, now that is I guess, I guess, I guess, um, it looks like Widget was stealing some kills here. Four kills for Widget, surprising. But uh, anyways, there's the builds from these players. Top notch stuff from both sides. And uh, yeah, I wasn't able to call that game till the very end. I, I kept know. thinking my diamond was gonna get that killer lead, but he kept kind of seeding his advantage. Yeah, we we knew it was gonna be a good one, but we didn't know it'd be this good. Uh, and Nine Diamond D, he was the fifth fifth ranked player, correct? Number five on right, the leaderboard. Right, so Oli definitely got some. Uh, in fact, Oli may might have gone up a rank, possibly from this game. Definitely. But anyways, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Feel free to comment. And let us know what's going on. We put a a thread up on the Drop Zone forums as well. I know we said we were going to last time and we forgot, so it's up now. So if you have any games, whether they be high level or wacky, or you just tried your best and want some feedback, not sure how you could play better, be sure to post and comment in that thread, and we'll try to get one of your matches on Replay Tuesdays next week. Yes, we will. And uh, that'll be it for us. Hope to see you next week. Let us know what you think. All right, this is Red Rupee. And this is Deckard. Catch you guys next time. See you, Belters.